Hi, this is Bob, W9RAN here, with a short video to show a cool, minimalist approach to software-defined radio called the ARM Radio. The ARM Radio was created by Alberto, I2PhD, who's one of the real gurus of SDR and has many distinguished other projects you can learn about at his website, which is www.weeksignals.com. Alberto created the ARM radio as an entry in an ARM MCU design contest based on the STM32F49 discovery board from ST Micro. This evaluation board includes a 32-bit ARM Cortex-M4 processor, a 12-bit A to D converter, and a 2.4-inch touchscreen LCD, with a few external parts for input, low-pass, and output reconstruction filters Alberto realized it had everything needed to make a direct sampling type SDR receiver. Now the ADC isn't very fast, but it is fast enough to cover from about 8 to 800 kilohertz, which includes VLF, LF, and part of the medium frequency band used for AM broadcasting. ARM radio incorporates wide and narrow filters and demodulators for AM, upper and lower sideband, and CW modes. Memories can also be programmed by recompiling the code, but since the defaults are set up for Europe, I'll just tune the, ma the radio manually in my demonstration. And by the way, no computer is needed. Uh, the ARM radio requires just 5 volts from any USB power source, and it's a complete standalone radio receiver. So here's my version of the ARM radio. It's mounted on a little piece of plastic. And alongside, I've added an audio amplifier with a volume control. And if we look around back, you'll see there's a speaker. And another little PC board that I made, which includes the reconstruction filter for the audio and an input. Now, this, uh, this cable's going to a mini whip antenna. As you can see, the audio output's going up to my little LM386 amplifier. So, Let's turn it back around, and I have it on mute. So this is one of the non-directional beacons in my area. We tune by hundreds, tens, or kilohertz. I'm going to select tens, and then ones. And we should have another beacon. And as you can tell, the signal strength is pretty good using the active whip antenna. I'll go ahead and change the frequency up into the AM broadcast band. Let's take um, a listen to 670, which is a station out of Chicago, and we'll select the AM mode. Now we can tune around. So there's a little demonstration of what you can hear with ARM radio, an SDR built around a 32-bit ARM Cortex-M4 processor.